So let's let's back up a little bit and talk about blockchain. Like, what is blockchain? When when people think blockchain,、um, when uneducated people like myself think about blockchain, we just think about Bitcoin,、uh, Ethereum, and those all the other cryptocurrencies. How are you using that sort of technology, and how does it even relate to、um, what you're doing? Yeah. So one of the one of the big problems too when we try to you know, sell this. Is people associate blockchain with cryptocurrency, right?、Mm -hmm. And it's、um, they're they're definitely associated, but they're not the same thing.、Uh, blockchain is the technology behind cryptocurrency. It's basically a distributed ledger, so、uh, it, it's really there to reduce fraud, be able to verify like transactions. So it works really well with especially like the credentialing use case is perfect. The、uh, financial like、uh, transactions. Makes perfect sense, right? Whenever you have lots of transactions and you need to provide a single source of truth, it's super important.、Um, one of the examples we always use for for blockchain is it's it's similar for people that are un, unsure of like what the technology is, kind of like a Google Doc, where you know you you are able to have a history of like when it was edited,、uh, so you actually know when when information was changed. Um, so once once information is out there, you can't you can't necessarily change the information. So if we publish your CV、um, to the public blockchain、uh, and that record of the transactions there, if you change something in there, it's gonna people are gonna be able to notice that you change something. It's not the original document. You can always add to it, but you can't change information. Okay, it's part, part of the deal with the technology. Gotcha, and that's done through like a. Is it similar to like the cryptocurrency thing, where people have there's all sorts of hubs,、um, sort of spaced around the country. They're all verifying each transaction or each change. Yep, yep. It's so since we use Ethereum, which is very similar to Bitcoin,、um, in many ways, there yeah, there's people across the world verifying the transactions. Interesting. So is it on? Is it based on the same sort of network?、Um, that sort, same sort of verification network that the, the cryptocurrencies are based on, or is it just the underlying technology? Component. That's the same. Yeah. So, like, we we need to pay. So, we're just paying for the transactions right now. So,、okay. we need to buy what's called ether, which、mm -hmm. is basically like the the fuel to, to process these transactions. So, the only difference is we're we're paying for it versus the you know if you were buying cryptocurrency, you're paying that transaction fee. Okay. Gotcha. I'm starting to piece this all together now. What what、um, where did that original idea come from to use blockchain technology? To process this type of thing, because that's totally new. Yeah, so it's funny because a lot of people see Block Health,、uh, you know, the BLOC, and they think, oh, Block, does it have to do with blockchain? And it does, but that's not why we named the company Block、mm -hmm. Health because we named it Block Health before we even decided to use blockchain technology for credentialing. So,、uh, what one of the ways that we actually got the idea is we were going through this and we were having trouble with the credentialing process when we were staffing. And we actually talked with this. He was like an intern at、uh, some investment fund who was really big on blockchain technology. He was like, "Credentialing is a perfect use case. Here's why." And then we started talking with some experts. Then、uh, we, when we really started understanding the full capability of the technology, is when we brought on our chief technology officer,、mm -hmm. um, who understood it right away. Was able to really come up with the perfect use case for us with it.、Um, but that, yeah, we kind of heard it from an intern. We started learning more about the technology. We read every white paper we could get our hands on. Brought on our CTO, and that's when when things really started to move forward with that technology.、Um, and for anyone that wants to learn more about this,、um, I mean, I'm sure my contact information will be available、um, after the podcast. I'll give it away here. We have a presentation that our director of credentialing just gave on credentialing with blockchain technology for those that really want to learn more about how how the two actually work. Awesome. 